Hi, today I'm going to be telling you about Tretinoin Cream. It is one of my favorite creams. I prescribe it in a multitude of conditions. So in this video, we'll be discussing how it acts, where all you can use it, what side effects may occur, and what precautions you need to take while you're using Tretinoin Cream. I make videos on skin care and on hair transplantation. If such content is of interest to you, then please subscribe to the channel. इस वीडियो को हिंदी में देखने के लिए ऊपर आई कार्ड में प्रेस कीजिए सो वॉट इज ट्रेटिनॉइन क्रीम ट्रेटिनॉइन इज अ वाइटमिन ए क्रीम ओके सो इट एक्ट ऑन द सेंटर ऑफ द सेल दैट मीन्स द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल एंड इट मेक्स सर्टन चेंजेस एंड इट रेगुलेट्स द वे इन विच द स्किन मच्योर्स ओके सो दैट इज हाउ ट्रेटिनॉइन क्रीम एक्ट रिमेंबर दैट ट्रेटिनॉइन इज अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन मेडिकेशन it should always be used only after consulting a registered medical practitioner so now you'll ask me why am i making this video if you have to go see the doctor to start using this cream so i'm making this video so that you can understand how this cream works and also know how to use it sometimes in a busy opd your doctor may not be able to explain you the details of the cream and you know tell you in detail about the molecule and how it works and what precautions you need to take while using this cream so my aim with this video is for you to understand tretinoin cream better not for you to go to a chemist buy this cream and start using absolutely not it should always be used only after consulting a dermatologist but after watching this video you will know that if you've been prescribed this cream how to use this so you get the best results so how does tretinoin cream act skin has two layers upper layer is the epidermis and the lower layer is the dermis so tretinoin acts on both these layers on the epidermis it causes regulation of the cell maturation cells move from the basal layer which is the bottom layer of the epidermis upwards so this tretinoin regulates this entire process it also leads to thickening of the epidermis in aged skin it also makes the keratinocytes which is the skin cells less cohesive meaning less sticky so the cells do not stick to each other and do not clog up the pores okay so if you're getting lot of whiteheads and blackheads then the tretinoin will help in breaking this clog and also preventing new whiteheads and blackheads from forming as it regulates the cells of the epidermis it also exposes new or fresher skin so you will notice that whenever you using tretinoin it improves the skin texture and your skin feels much more smoother and your open pores look less prominent it also causes even distribution of melanin when you develop dark spots there can be accumulation of melanin on the skin okay so if you apply tretinoin cream what it does is that it distributes the melanin evenly so that the dark spots tend to become lighter it also sheds the skin which has this melanin deposit so the new skin which forms is lighter colored and there is a reduction in dark spots it also improves penetration of medications that you apply after you apply the tretinoin so because it sheds the dead skin layer whatever active components you apply thereafter will penetrate deeper and their action will be better in the dermis tretinoin acts by improving collagen so it makes new collagen and the skin becomes more thick and firm so after use of tretinoin for a long time it has been shown that it thickens the dermis so what are the uses of tretinoin tretinoin can be used in a variety of condition the most commonly prescribed condition is acne tretinoin is a preferred drug in acne it helps in reducing the comedogenesis it also reduces the inflammation so tretinoin is a good drug to use if you have acne especially comedonal acne if you have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads then tretinoin cream can really help in uh, reducing the appearance of blackhead and whitehead and also in preventing new formation of these comedons second most common prescribed condition is dark spots tretinoin also regulates melanin distribution so it reduces the appearance of dark spots it is also used in open pores open pores occur as a result of increased sebum production from the glands and also if there is accumulation of dead cells in these pores that leads to patulous pores the pores appearing more wide what tretinoin does is it stabilizes the lining of the follicular epithelium so it stabilizes the lining of the hair follicle opening 
and makes the cells less sticky like I said before and then this there can be smoother extrusion of the oil that is being produced by the sebaceous glands. So there's less clogging of pores and your open pores appear better. And also as it stimulates collagen, it makes the dermis around your hair follicle thicker. So in this way, the open pore shrinks and reduces in size. It is also used in fine lines and wrinkles. So as it improves the quality of the epidermis and also makes collagen in the dermis, it really improves your fine lines and wrinkles. It can also be used in scars. Scar occurs if there is any discontinuity on the skin surface. Okay, so there can be loss of collagen and there can be loss of skin markings on the scar. There can be improvement on your scar if you use a tretinoin cream. It is also used in stretch marks. So stretch marks are also scars. So it works with a similar principle as it does in scars. But in stretch marks, you have to remember that it works only in the initial stages. When the stretch mark is still red, that is when it shows the best results. In older stretch marks where there is just a white line, the results are not very impressive. Tretinoin is also prescribed in other conditions such as milia, in keratosis pilaris, in lichen planus, in psoriasis. It is also prescribed in certain infective conditions such as plain warts. If you have multiple plain warts on your face then tretinoin can help in uh, shrinking the size of the lesion and also making it flat. Tretinoin can also be used in steroid induced atrophy meaning that if your skin has been damaged due to prolonged use of steroids and your skin has become thick in that condition also you can use a tretinoin cream to restore the thickness of the skin. Tretinoin is also used as a pre-treatment before any kind of procedure in order to improve the wound healing that occurs after the procedure and also to reduce the chances of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. In our skin tone, the chances of getting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that is dark spots after a procedure such as a derma roller or a chemical peeling or a laser is high. So if you use tretinoin about a week to 10 days before the procedure, this reduces the chances of developing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Your recovery tends to be faster and also the wound healing tends to be better. So how to use tretinoin cream? This is very important. A lot of people use a large quantity of tretinoin cream and this causes irritation and burning and redness to their skin. So how much should you use? Just use one pea-sized amount of this cream and this should be enough for the entire face. And whenever you're using a tretinoin cream on your whole face, make sure that you protect the side of the eyes, the side of the nose and the angles of the mouth with Vaseline jelly. So you'll apply a Vaseline petroleum jelly on these areas, only then go on with applying your tretinoin cream. Otherwise, what is going to happen is tretinoin is going to accumulate in these folds and cause a lot of irritation in this area. Always start with a very small quantity of tretinoin cream. Use it on your first day for about 30 to 45 minutes and wash it off. Okay, so the first few days you can wash it off within an hour. If you're able to tolerate, then you can slowly increase. Keep it on for about 45 minutes, then one hour, then one hour, 15 minutes, one and a half hours. In this way, you can slowly increase the duration of contact time. And when you're able to tolerate the cream, you can leave it overnight. If you're continuing to have burning and irritation, then you can use this cream only once or twice in a week. Use a very small quantity, just twice a week. This should also be good enough to improve your fine lines and wrinkles, your open pores, and also can improve your acne to a certain extent. Remember that you should always apply a moisturizer after you apply your tretinoin cream. If you have dry sensitive skin and still have been prescribed tretinoin or have acne or you want to reduce your fine lines and wrinkles, then I suggest that you apply a layer of moisturizer first. So you'll apply a layer of moisturizer on your entire face first then you'll apply tretinoin in a very small quantity only on affected areas. Always start a low concentration of tretinoin. It's available in 0 0.025, 0 0.05 and 0.1% strength. You can start by using 0.025% cream formulation. A cream formulation is always less irritating than a gel 
or a lotion so always use a cream formulation whenever you're starting out with the tretinoin so when will you start seeing results if you're using tretinoin in acne you will start seeing results in two to four weeks when you start using tretinoin cream you will notice that your acne has become worse this is because the closed comedons that is the whiteheads turn into blackheads and then they can lead to some kind of inflammation and acne formation can occur so that's why you will feel that your acne has exacerbated but if you continue to use tretinoin cream it will reduce the formation of blackheads and whiteheads in the future so in long term it is very beneficial so initially when if you have a lot of irritation you can use it only on alternate days or two to three times in a week let the inflammation subside and then you can make it daily benzoyl peroxide when used with tretinoin can also cause irritation so you want to keep benzoyl peroxide for a very short time reduce the contact time of benzoyl peroxide as well if you have been prescribed both okay so benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin combination can lead to irritation so you really want to reduce the contact time of benzoyl peroxide while you are on tretinoin there are certain fixed dose formulations of benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin that are available in the market which are quite effective you can go for microsphere technology uh, in which the tretinoin is in microspheres so the irritation is less the drug is released very slowly into the skin and this leads to less side effects of burning and redness and scaling so when can you notice improvement if you're using tretinoin as an anti-aging cream you'll be able to notice an improvement in texture in two to four weeks so your skin will feel more even toned and smoother and in the fine lines will improve in about four months but deep lines and static lines and wrinkles will improve in six to nine months so after regular usage of the screen for six to nine months you'll be able to notice an improvement in your deep wrinkles when can you see results in open pores open pores are very slow to improve because we are trying to induce collagen formation that will lead to shrinkage of the pores okay if the collagen around the open pores become thicker then that will lead to shrinkage of the pores so this takes a long time you'll have to use the tretinoin cream on a regular basis for six to nine months before you can notice improvement and you'll have to continue using the cream if you want to sustain the results initially when you start using tretinoin for open pores you will notice that the open pores are looking more prominent this occurs because this sheds the overlying dead skin layer and it exposes the pore opening okay so but with continuing use it will improve the appearance of pores so don't get worried that it is making your pores look worse it will shrink with time and your overall texture of the skin will definitely improve if you have any scars on your face you can notice improvement in 9 months to 12 months okay so scar remodeling takes a very long time so you have to use this cream regularly i get a lot of patients who are using this just for a month even sometimes few weeks and they feel it's not getting any improvement and it's not helping it is not going to show improvement that early you have to use it regularly for at least six to nine months to see improvement the same with stretch marks as stretch marks is also a scar for you to notice improvement it may take up to 12 months okay so you'll have to be diligent with uh, tretinoin application you're going to apply on the areas of stretch marks every night apply a very small quantity every night if stretch marks are present over a large area you can mix it with a moisturizer and spread it over the affected area so what are the side effects of tretinoin if you use it well in the correct quantity and as advice then there are usually no side effects but it can lead to redness and irritation little bit of burning and also scaling as in shedding of the skin okay so a lot of patients complain of dryness of the skin after applying tretinoin so if that is the case you want to stop using tretinoin for a few days use a moisturizer let your skin come down to normal and then restart with a very small quantity and 
for a short period of time so you reduce your contact time if you were applying it overnight you can just up keep it on for about an hour and wash it off so you'll have to titrate the quantity and the duration of application depending upon how you are responding to it so if you have any kind of redness burning and itching that usually subsides in one or two days with just the application of a good moisturizer using a moisturizer is very very important whenever you're using tretinoin so what precautions should you take if you're applying tretinoin make sure that you're using a good broad spectrum sunscreen during the day if you're using tretinoin at night okay and you're going to apply the sunscreen in a liberal amount all over your face and neck or in the areas where you're applying tretinoin and reapply it every 2 hours just application of sunscreen once is not going to be enough you're going to reapply every 2 hours you need not wash your face every time you can just apply another layer on the existing layer but you have to keep reapplying your sunscreen for it to be effective this is very important otherwise you will feel that your skin has become dull and darker after using tretinoin this is because the skin tends to get tanned more easily if you're using tretinoin so stay away from the sun and use a sunscreen regularly while on tretinoin so i have covered all the aspects of tretinoin cream if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below so remember that tretinoin is a very good cream and a lot of dermatologists prescribe it for a variety of conditions so you must understand how to use in what quantity to use and how to titrate before you can see the results so if you use it correctly the results can be very rewarding so i suggest that always consult a dermatologist before starting this tretinoin cream because if your skin is very red irritated or you have very sensitive dry skin then tretinoin may not be a good option for you okay that can only be judged by a dermatologist after examining you okay, i will not be able to tell you if tretinoin cream is suitable for your skin type or not without seeing you in person so always consult a dermatologist before starting this cream i hope you found this video useful if you like such skin and hair related content then you can follow us on our instagram handle dr archil md i post new skin and hair related videos every day thank you for watching